So I created this little XML file based on the text on the example in the community. So there's only one thing in there. And I'm going to create a file type for that. So just to take you through the process. So I go to my options, to my file types. I did that a little quick. Let me go slower. File, options, file types, new. I'm going to use the embedded content because this will give me the ability to use the HTML filter rather than have to create regular expression rules, which you have to do with this one. So I click OK. I'm just going to call this property and property. Then I'm going to import the rules from the XML file like that. So there they are. I'm not going to bother editing them. It's a fairly straightforward and simple tool, simple um, file. I then need to go to my parser rules and I need to set some context so that the embedded content processor knows what to use. So for example, if I go to the embedded content processor and I enable it, tell it I want to use HTML, the HTML processor. It's not a C data section, so I need to give it some document structure. So I click on add. Easiest thing to do in this case, I'm just going to pick a predefined one paragraph rather than create a custom one. So it's going to be looking for any element that has a structure context, a paragraph. So then I go back to my parser rule. Property element is the one I want. And I edit that. Down here you see structure info. I edit that and add a new property. In this case, the one I'm going to take to make it simple is paragraph. Then everything's filled in already for me. You can create your own. I click on OK and OK. And now I've got paragraph context there. So that paragraph matches what the embedded content is looking for. And I click OK. So now when I open that file, any old language just to test it, perfect. Opens it all up, uses the HTML processor to tag it up exactly what you need to do. So pretty straightforward.